life, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna do him my first break and then we gonna be good. Hey, HH Gaming 7 welcome. Ah, oh, so hi. <laughs> I guess you get to see what I look like and hear what I sound like now. Um, yeah, so welcome to my stream and hello, Daybreakers, uh, Explorers, and Fate Defiers. Welcome back to Edge of Eternity. Um, yeah, slightly earlier stream than usual today. Um, for various reasons, one being that I wanted to just experiment with doing an earlier um, slot just to see if um, more people show up. I guess the objective is still survive, which I love. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, yeah. Just back, excited to be back doing this again. And we have Batavia back, yay! Um, so it's just gonna ride on as we go and see well, what's this. Can I, can I do anything with that? No, I guess it's just decoration. Okay, maybe it does something in battle. Oh, Ooh. ah, some enemies. Uh. Ah, I won't back down. Use residual fire damage to kill an enemy. Okay. HH Gaming, I finally got perfect relic on off balance. Ooh, nice, congratulations. Still haven't got that far, I don't think. Um, I forget which level is where. Okay, so water. Okay, um so I'm a bit I haven't played in a week, so I'm a bit rusty, but I'll get there. Um can we see? Oh, okay. And oh, damn, she doesn't have any water spells. Uh, um. uh, let's have her defend for now and make sure to put water on her. this battle. Yeah, if I... Let's see... What starts? 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice one. Um, yeah, the resistance to Earth. Um, I never tried gravity before. That is a superior gemstone. What is this? No. Defense breaker. Water rift, okay, and can we do water knife as well, perhaps? Oh. That off and no, there is no water knife, or at least if there is, I don't have it. So it's on the dimension where you get to use the dark matter spin. I think I, I honestly don't remember which order they go in. It's been so long since I played Crash. Okay, poison knife, thunder knife, explosive trap. Yeah, that'll be her loadout for a while. I'm gonna go on foot because there are enemies. I don't want to have to be constantly getting off Batavia every time I. Need to fight. Suffer and learn. Kill any enemy in one strike. Well, sure as hell, try. First of all, does this count as wind? Because if so, yes, it does. Cool. Okay, now I'm just missing healing. I guess. Can you even use healing on an enemy? <laughs> um, I don't think you can. Or maybe it's like nature or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a bit distracted. Uh, yeah, just attack. Why not? Uh, do something. One of them died. I just left counter stance, honestly. Yeah. That one. Take it out. Sucks. Uh, I couldn't really do it. I wasn't strong enough. But that's why we level up. That's why we grind. To 
That's why we get stronger. It's also nice that it's the same enemies as before. Like three state alterations. Uh, I don't actually know your weakness. Huh. Um, I think it's ice. Yeah, it's ice. Oh. Poison is a state alteration. Too bad I died before I could hit you with it. You absolutely cannot use um, healing on enemies. <coughs> um, I'm going to run and give Celine an ice spell and then come back. Tonight, I can't have water and ice. Uh, maybe another staff can do it. Yeah, I guess Darian will have to be my main ice user right now. How about you? What's your weakness? I will not attend any last. Do I know your weakness? Yes. They have two. Right, lightning and gravity. But I can't use gravity right now. So lightning it'll have to be. Celine to do anything that doesn't do like the most damage. This, uh, this just feels weird. Okay, why did you not have that equipped right from the start? Let's swap stuff out before every battle. Okay, Oracle's weak to fire. So, he does have fire rift. Okay. Starion. Yeah, fire strike and Mena has explosive trap, so she's her fire skill. Suffer and learn! Left one tax from behind. Oh, that's lightning. God damn it. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. Um. Ah, no, it's 
didn't achieve the goal, but that's okay. That's optional. Parasitium, not an actual gemstone. This, the solidified mucus of an insectivore monster, injected then forgotten into an anthill. Has to be for him either. Fire or lightning, which kind of sucks, but can we do? We have no quarrel with you. Please go. Kill the marked enemy last. Shall we? I think I need to craft Selene a better weapon for sure, or probably the others too. Got another superior defense breaker. Let's move along. Merchant, but nah, I don't need. I got everything I need right here. Okay, we've got gun, which means water weakness. So, we've got water rift. Can Darian do water strike? think he can. 
Let's see. Don't take me that way. No. Take me this way. No. Um, but men can do water knife. Also strike. That is a thing. Okay. Attack. Press the wrong button. Start. Skill strike. Skill strike. Water strike. And fireball. fire. She's got water and she's got water about fire because Croctus is weak to fire if I remember right. Fire rift. Yeah, she's got explosive trap. I think that's the only fire skill she can use now because I don't think there's a fire knife. If I if there is I don't think I have it. Keep doing that. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I don't think there is. I don't care, it was fun, so yeah, Emmy. I love to use the force this way. Oh, kill all enemies without exploiting their elemental weakness. Wonderful. So all that prep was for nothing then. Okay. Doesn't do any damage. Um. Fire. Fire doesn't do sure. Heavy rain. So, and water is even powered up. Now I can't use it. Discord, or at least I thought I did. It was just a bot ping in the server. Clearing that out. Okay. Earth Rift encounter stance.
Oh, they might as well use Batavia. This is weird. I can't possibly have killed them all by myself. It feels like someone helped me. I can't remember. Say, Celine, were you singing when you found me? Singing? No, I wasn't. Uh, I feel like ash. I got this strange taste in my mouth. What about you, Myrna? How do you feel? I'm fine. Sorry for, you know. We both acted according to our conscience. You did what you felt was right. So did I. And you're much stronger than I thought. That's all. Did something happen? Ah, uh, your sister just showed me what's behind her veneer. And broke a few of my ribs in the process. I wouldn't have phrased it that way. Yeah. If you want to see the story, watch watch the previous um, streams. <laughs> They're all archived on my YouTube channel. Uh, what's this called? This lightning, right? Maybe I can look in here. No, fire. Okay. I get Croctus and the Roku mixed up, I think. Uh, Oh yeah, we can definitely do it. Let's go. We have no quarrel with you. Please go. Kill an enemy after each of the characters have hit them. Well, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing anyway, so... because it has multiple targets. Oh, there you Hey Dina! Dina, hi Twilight! Ooh, pink today! Oh, nice! Okay, I'm gonna have to... Just to finish that one off. Next, I'm gonna do a normal attack on that one. Since I'm not asleep, I decided to stop by. What are you playing? It's a game called Edge of Eternity. It's a game made by a small, independent French studio that's meant to be a love letter to classic JRPGs like Final Fantasy. I used explosive traps, so unless that doesn't count as hitting, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Darkness before dawn. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Xavier, let's go. Oh, 
on something. Nice. Nothing new, but still cool. And the enemies are already green. Nice. So what's the game about? Um, well, uh, basically there's this like disease called the corrosion, which is like ravaging the land and um, uh, there's like no cure for it and it basically turns people into zombies and there's this whole other thing about someone who's trying to get power by like taking control of the gods or something I don't know it's kind of hard to get a idea of the plot right now because it's still in its early stages but basically these um, this guy here, Darian, and his sister, Celine, here, the blonde one, are on a journey to uh, find a cure for the corrosion because their mother has it and they don't want their mother to die. And Darian is a deserter from the army um, because all his friends got killed in in the war. Uh, and Celine is like basically a priestess. She works for this sort of um religious organization um there's a whole lot of stuff uh you can uh probably find a summary online or something I, i'm not very good at explaining it but um it's a jrpg so it's a complicated plot um it's not actually a jrpg but you know what i mean anyways uh we gotta do a lap break so i'll be back after the ads This is actually that was a pretty good explanation, really. <laughs> Thank you. It felt like it was kind of disjointed and didn't make much sense to me, but I'm glad it. W I'm glad you thought it was good. Okay. Yeah, basically now. Um, yeah, the corrosion just happened, and we had to fight off a lot of corroded zombies. We basically uh, actually. Well, actually, I'll wait for the ads to... Hmm. Do you know you're getting ads right now? Because you usually don't, do you? For some reason. Uh, no, maybe she actually got ads this time. Dina, though I only like zombies if they are accompanied by the songs of ABBA. Yeah. Uh, I can I can show you this actually. This gives a good um, summary. Uh wonder if you can see the previous ones, but I guess not. Yeah. So we're basically looking for Celine's old master Alpharius, because we think he'll know what to do. You're late, Celine. Have you been slacking off? Oh, of course you have. Despite very clear instructions, you've been out wasting our precious time. Did you enjoy your little frolic? Did the pleasure of the afternoon sun on your cheeks make you forget about the daunting task that awaits us? You've turned up two hours later than my most dire predictions, and disappointed me yet again. But you haven't mentioned the worst part, Master. Which is? That despite all this, I'm still your favorite pupil. Damn right. I'm really happy to see you, Master. Well, the feeling's mutual. Oh, Myrna, who invited you? I'm here on my own business. And the young man with the thick aura of gloom must be your brother. 
I'm Darian. Aura of Gloom, that's me right there. I'm sorry to interrupt this touching reunion, but I must ask for you to come with us, Alfarius. You! How long have you been following us? Since Hirosaur. I remember you, the two bounty hunters. We thought you spotted us, and decided to lose us in the pass of Olfara. But then I realized, you were just foolishly imprudent. Don't blame yourselves for not detecting us earlier. Derek and I are very good at what we do. You heard me, Alfarius. Surrender and make everyone's lives a little easier. Oh, is this about the books I borrowed from the temple? Oh, I know they're one or two years overdue, uh, but I'm not quite finished reading them yet. Thank you for dropping by. Take care. Don't play dumb, Altharius. It's not about the books. It's about you and the Alabaster Tablet. We know you hid it somewhere. Hmm. And if I refuse to give it to you? We'll proceed to beat you. Until you're nearly a lifeless pulp. Nearly lifeless? We're not monsters, Gavin. We don't kill people for such paltry sums. Four against two? You're biting off a bit more than you can chew, guys. Actually, three against two. I'm not done cooking, Darian. What? You brought them here, so it only seems fair that you're the one to get rid of them. You always did save the best news for last. This endless chatter is getting boring. Come on, Gavin. Do your thing. My thing? Do your stupid fancy sword tricks while you shield me from fatal blows. Oh, yeah. This kind of feels like deja vu. Ina says game shaming players for exploring. <laughs> yeah. I did a lot of exploring, believe me. Sorry. <laughs> I kind of made a mistake there. Okay. We have some enemies. I don't know if they have a weakness. I'm just gonna try. Okay. So Gavin shields him, so I should take out Gavin first. Showed me all right. Humans don't tend to have weaknesses, but I like to try anyway. Uh, fire. Oh no, I already tried fire. Uh, what else have I got? Ice. Sweet to gravity. That's good to know. Oh no, it's it's not it just gravity is boosted right now. Man. What was it? Earth and wind. I don't have my wind skill, so Pantastans. Rank 
He's not very good, is he? I will commend your soul to the gods. Hits with that as much as I hit with my holy lance skill. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, it was only money that I would have got for that, so it's fine. Well, gravity is boosted, so I might as well use it. Rank amateurs, all of you. I will show you how it's done. Do you know, in any case, in the series community, there was a zombie episode. Essentially, there was a Halloween party, and everyone ate some kind of contaminated experimental snacks that essentially turned them into zombies, complete with spreading the contamination by biting. <laughs> Darian, because he used a skill. Yeah. You know, the entire thing was turned hilarious for how the Dean had picked out the party music would have got the playlists mixed up, so instead of appropriate spooky Halloween music for the entire evening, ABBA songs were playing. <laughs> nice. Just defend. Just roll over and die. Someone needs healing. Not close enough. Mm. Right. So we can do attack. Darkness before dawn. Dina, so you got scenes with zombies attacking frightened people while the BGM was There was something in the air that night, the stars were bright, Fernando <laughs> I love that, oh, I love it Let's see, I think I'm gonna have to move over there Fair enough. Or not. I will show you how it's done. I'm wounded. Uh, nice singing, by the way. Thank you. Oh. 
Always protect the caster. Yes. Now there's no one left to protect the caster. <laughs> Special. Ooh. Let it break. Just roll over and die. Well. It's a brutal limit break. I will commend your soul to the gods. Just roll over and die. Dina, but yes, I don't really like zombies other than hypno zombies, which are hot, but I make an exception if they are accompanied by ABBA songs. Good to know. I think I'm just gonna because just roll over and die. Cut down how much MP do you have? Okay. This is never gonna go anywhere if I don't take an offensive. And that was the wrong target. Okay. Instead, can't really do anything. I'm not done yet. Limit breaks are fun. Rank amateurs, all of you. By the will of the gods. So what was that? Outnumbered. Let's pull out, Derek. I'm holding you responsible for this debacle, Gavin. Yeah, union. Right, come on, Matavia. Let's go. My master is over there. Let's go and see him. Dina, very kitty sound. Hey. Good girl, Batavia. I 
and you know, there it was again. Where, uh, yeah, it's my mount here. Batavia. She's a Nekaru. I won't back down. Finish the battle without healing any allies. In her amount that says Murr is the best kind. I agree. She won't get to use it, I just wanted to do something. Western continent, Caledon coast. Uh, so, the corrosion has spread as far as the Pass of Alfara. The consort is doing everything in its power to limit the spread, but. They won't be able to keep it contained forever. If we don't do something soon, Harrion is lost. Then let's not waste any more time and discuss the reason we're all here. I have found a resurgent. A... resurgent. <sighs> What's a resurgent? Master, are you sure? Are you certain it was a resurgent? I'll let you be the judge. You are standing right in front of me and presented all the signs of Fluxion. Fluxion? Okay, all right. But Fluxion is no guarantee on its own. You know that as well as I do. Hey, what's a resurgent? He spoke to me. He spoke to you. He spoke to you? You're telling me he showed all the signs of Fluxion and was still speaking? Master, were you wearing your glasses when you examined him? Are you sure about this? A perfect case, Celine. We have it. Yes, what do we have exactly? A resurgent. Someone who survived the corrosion. Uh, even I know what a resurgent is, Darian. <sighs> so this resurgent, or whatever you call it, is someone who has survived the corrosion? How did they do that? He refused to answer my question. Your first task will be to get it out of him. So there's someone who has survived the corrosion that the Sanctorium hasn't snapped up for research. I find that hard to believe. Oh, you'll understand everything when you get there. Or you could just answer my questions now. We don't know enough yet. And we don't have time to waste on suppositions and speculation. Get to Tyre Kalem, the city of the Technomages, and ask for Taranis. She will tell you where to find the resurgent. Okay. Tyre, Kalem, and Tyrannus. Got it. Well, now that we have a plan, I'll leave you guys to reminisce about the old days. I'm gonna go hit the sack. Good night, guys. Good night, Darian. And I will, too. <sighs> Dealing with these two has proved more exhausting than I could ever have imagined. And that's what we've been doing until we finally found you. Shagholm, huh? Well, that was a good call, Celine. And you? What have you been doing? Causing trouble again? Committing heresy upon heresy, Celine. All thanks to you. Please. You were a thorn in the Sanctorian side long before I showed up. So, did you find it? Nearly. The alabaster tablet was the only piece missing. 
By the next time we see each other, I'll have pinpointed its location. Will we be able to talk to the gods? Well, that will depend on you. Does your brother know of your destiny? No. He has too much on his mind right now. Our mother, the war. I think it's too soon for that kind of conversation. You know best. Celine, I swore to myself that I wouldn't bother you with my doubts. So I'm telling you again, leave the Sanctorium. Not this again. I'm serious. They don't deserve you. And you, you deserve better. The Sanctorium is strayed from its path. It used to serve the gods, now it only serves itself. That is precisely why we must do this now, today. You won't find happiness there, Celine. It's not happiness I seek. It's truth. I've made up my mind. You know what that means. And this is the most important decision I've ever made. What if it leads you to the pyre? Then I will face the pyre. <sighs> I was afraid you'd say that. And I'll take a bucket. I knew from the start there was something off about you. I just couldn't figure out what it was. Then, traveling with you, I caught a hint. A faint scent of something. Arcolite oil. You're no mere soul-searcher, are you, Myrna? I underestimated you. And now we'll both pay the price of my foolishness. If I can't find a way, Why do you want to kill me, one. Myrna? You know exactly why! And if you don't, I pity you! Once again, you're not making any sense! Well then, this is quite a development. Also, I didn't skip Alpharius' line that one time. I know it cut off before he said everything the subtitle said, but the game just does that sometimes during cutscenes, I don't know why. Maybe they, they scripted the line, the, the next line to play too early or something. I don't know. Uh, we've got some Archolite drones here. She attacks them too. She also attacks me though. Dina, they went from calm and reasonable to s screaming from cutscene to fight scene. <laughs> yeah. Puff globe. Oh, that was the thing I saw in Puff I still don't know what that does. Yeah, I can't count on long-distance attacks. Okay. Oh, she doesn't attack them. The enemies can just set off the traps. Uh... Wait, what are you doing? Range fighters. I need to get in close. <laughs> D 
Christy and at first he's like you're normally a soul searcher I know you all along and she's whooped my bad and then all of a sudden he's why are you trying to kill me and she's you don't know you stupid <laughs> uh, yeah I feel like I'm probably not going to win this one maybe I'm not supposed to ow I feel like they skipped a page in the script or something. Or maybe it was just because that one was battle line. to offer you promotion of your channel and I want to offer you a ban bye bye feel just to be safe and what is boosted so Right there, right there. Wounded. That's what we do with traitors around here. She got away. Why? Why did she do that? What happened? Our friend, the soul searcher, tried to kill me. And she used Archolite machines to do her bidding. Oh, Nana. But why? Alfarius, you're the one who trusted Myrna in the first place. You better have an explanation. I didn't know she used Archolite war machines. Myrna is... Uh, was a good friend. On several occasions, she went out of her way to help me. Under her cover as a soul searcher, she worked as an informant, a, a broker. We traded information on a regular basis, and she always proved trustworthy. Uh, until now. I'm sorry, Darian. My carelessness nearly cost you your life. And now we'll never know why she attacked me. It's time for another ad break. I will be back soon. Now we have a new objective. Go to Tyakalum, I think that's how they said it, and find the resurgent. That's right, Batavia. Onward to Tyr Kalem. Let's stay alert. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. Myrna, she might be there too. I still don't understand why she would want to kill me. I can't understand it either. It's like she thought you were meant to die in the pass of Ulfara and wanted to set things right? It does feel like that. Maybe she had a vision that I would die there? Maybe she's a perfectionist and just wanted to make sure all her predictions came true. You're joking, right? You know very well what I think of soul searchers. Okay, then, so Tia Caleb. Okay. What's this? <sighs> uh, 
Speedy Kitty. I won't enjoy this, nor will you. Oh, HH Gaming highlighted a uh, pet emoji. Yeah. Sorry, hey, I'm back. I was meds acquiring. Oh, cool. Meds, uh, meds are good. to equip my wind attack again, yeah. But I can't right now. Damn, I need to get to a crafting table so I can make some new weapons. There's a side quest over there. Oh, there's plenty. There's lots of side quests actually. <laughs> this place is called World's End. <laughs> really? Okay. A little bit on the nose, don't you think? Anyway, let's see what this person wants. So I am not alone. Priestess, did you come here because you have sensed it too? Pardon me? Dina, there are plenty of... Uh, Umbra is fading away. Umbra? The goddess of the sea and all things lost. Dina, there are plenty of places called World's End or Land's End, isn't it? Yeah, but not spelled like that. <laughs> Though it pains me to admit, it's the first time I've heard of her. Ah. So even the Sanctorium has forgotten. I am the last one to remember. The last one. The life of Umbra depends on me alone. I'm sorry. I have a request, Priestess. One that desperately requires consecrated hands. I must save the goddess, and I need several elements to conduct my ritual. There is an obayel near the waterfall. I would be grateful if you could bring it to me. Can't you go fetch this flower yourself? My sister is not your errand girl. I can't leave the pier. I can't sleep either. If I do, I fear the worst will happen. I fear that she will disappear. Help me. 
help me save the goddess. Sunken Cathedral, find the Opaya Flower for Atalanta. I'll get to that, but I want to pick up these other quests as well. Abadavia. Also, there seems to be a town here, which means that probably will be a weapon crafting table, which means I can make some new weapons, hopefully. And also rest at the end, because I kind of need to. There's another one there. Hmm. Uh, next time. Okay. Quest. Okay. Hey, you there. Are you talking to me? You're too green, son. One swing, swing, sploosh, and there goes your artery. A stream of blood from your neck all to the way to the shore. Just what are you going on about? What I'm saying is that I could have kill killed you a thousand times already. Your guard is full of holes, kid. <laughs> I only keep my guard up when there's danger around. And right now? I can't say I feel threatened. <laughs> That's it. That's the spirit. You made it, son. I've decided to accept you as my pupil. Say that again. You are a lucky boy, for I'll be teaching you everything I know about combat. How about no? But my teachings don't come cheap, for those who need power need to be ready to make horrendous sacrifices. Again, not interested. You'll be playing with fire. Dancing with the devils, the way of the bleeding wind is a dangerous one, and it has claimed the lives of many warriors who sought to master it. Dean of this guy is desperate for students, isn't he? I think so, just a bit. Zoe, I somehow processed combat as car batteries. <laughs> is, my, is my audio muffled? Which would be a very sharp turn in the game, yeah. No, okay, good. Dina, uh, my brain is okay. <laughs> Dina, but he needs to work on his sales pitch, yeah. But you, you just might survive your training. Oh, hey, Jack. Are you deaf? I said I'm not interested. Oh, so by the way, Jack, um, Myrna was a traitor. She tried to kill Darian in his sleep. Um, he woke up. Fought her off and she ran away. But we found Alfarius. Your first trial will be to kill the giant Skitana that plagues these parts. He is on a rampage, a danger to the village. Oh, I understand now. So that's what this is about. You actually want to manipulate me into killing monsters for you. Alright, but that was a nice effort. Very sneaky. It almost worked. 
Better luck next time. Goodbye, old man. So, you think this is a joke? Very well. I will have to show you, show you what the bleeding wind is about. Come to the other side of the beach, next to the house of the old fool who dresses like he's from the Sanctorium. You will witness a miracle, a bloody miracle. Maybe we should check it out, make sure he's safe. Sorry that his name is Petrus amuses me. No, no come. No country for old masters. Well, there's more quests to pick up here. You know, he could just not go to that house. Yeah, very true. But you know me, I never turn down a side quest. Speaking of which, Jack says I like the music here. Yeah, it's nice. Come on, sing, you damn loon. I... I... The... Sorry, wait, side quest could be turned down? Supposedly, yeah. Um, I know, it sounds crazy, but... I think it's possible. I mean, I've heard, like, rumours. Dina says I have no idea. <laughs> Bed is made and we'll let them sleep in it. Oh yes. I'm my own bear now. Zoe, I thought you were just supposed to do all the all of the side quests until the game ran out and then the game ended. Yeah, that's what I thought. But no, apparently they're optional. Like who knew? <sighs> I'm done. It's over. Hear me, ghetto? I'm done. Find yourself another nurse to wipe the drool off your chin because I'm out of here. What's the matter? Ah, the priestess. Oh, maybe you can do something for me. Could you heal ghetto over here? Like, say a prayer? Make a bit of cha-cha with your rosary and fix his noggin. Does your friend suffer from a mental ailment? Sadly, curative magic doesn't work that way. Damn it. I guess the treasure hunt is finished. The what? And <laughs> that got Darian's attention. Dina. I'm just approaching it from the point of view of the in-game character motivations, not the gameplay one. Petrus is lucky he is a character in a video game, because if he wasn't, he'd never get any students. Fair point, yeah. And from the look on your face, you probably want to know the whole story now. <sighs> so I found this sorry ash bag, face down in a gutter, back in De Hostra, veins open and all. Being the pushover that I am, I couldn't help picking him and dressing up his wounds. And there he just starts spouting all kinds of nonsense, blabbering on and on until he mentions that something very important is buried near Caladan coast. Some kind of treasure. How do you know? You just said it. I did. Well, anyways, the problem is, the second he put his foot on the sand, he clammed up. Some real appreciation you're showing here, Ghetto, huh? Sir Ghetto, please tell me what is happening. Priestess. It's... Under the sto stony rainbow, middle. Look for the three green crystals. Need a real nose to sn sniff. Catty nose. Sniffing? So you're telling me we need a Nekaru now? I'm done. So done with you, Ghetto. Stony rainbow. Then in the center of three green crystals. 
Treasure chest. Right. Come here. Need that crafting table. Let's see, can I make anything? Gem cutter, I think I already have, right? Yeah. The other cleaver is shield the princess next to tech. There we have the soul stuff. That's a, that's. There you go. Strong twist. Astrian alloy. Ah. Is that? the recipe for it and you get the recipe in world's end nice okay so buy all of these don't mind me I'll take your entire stock I'm sorry, had to run off for a second. Have you found the miracle? Not yet. I'm crafting. Coachman's friend. Where do I get one of those? Can be purchased. In... Oh, okay. You can buy them. Nice. Even better. Nice. Okay, so how many strong twists do I need to get the soul blade? One. Okay, I need Astrian alloy as well. I don't know where I get that, but. Dina, I think we should call the Miracle Miri. That's a nice name. Coachman's friend. Do you have it? I don't think you do. There it is. So it's like the It gone. Oh, am I looking in cell? Oh, uh, bye. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Sorry, I was looking in cell. That's why I couldn't find it. I don't know how much I actually need for the crafting. Yeah, I need breathing ivy as well. 
take you out of those two, didn't you? Also, I need to check these out. Coachman's friend, a long string of herb, often used by poor yet unscrupulous coachmen. Breathing ivy, a string of heavy ivy that seems to be breathing, a false impression. It writes because of sudden temperature fluctuations. Mine roll, coachman's friend, breathing ivy, super best match. Strong twist, a composite of vegetal and well, it went away. Uh, vegetal and mineral materials that is easy to work with and yet hard to break. Right, what about Astrian alloy? Can I make that? Celestian alloy. Astrian alloy, there it is. Oh, I have enough. Celestian alloy. Added slasily. More on fluid. Best match. An alloy of multiple Astrian metal. Com complex, resilient, like many of us. Yes, indeed. Well, I don't really need it. 17 power, 96 power, 14. Oh, I might actually need it. Let's see, 8, 20, oh, 23 is good. Okay. Strong twist, Astrian alloy, diluted memory. Super best match. Soul blade. Two more diluted memory, and I can make the higher one. And <coughs> I got a slumbering soul blade. That's for Celine. It's fun, yes. There's nothing next up. Two lights in.
Why was I never doing this before, honestly? Spawn. I don't think they sell those, do they? <laughs> Need to fight the Dunria for that. Oh, never mind. I guess they just have them lying around to sell now. <laughs> See how tough are these townsfolk? Spine staff, blue denrius horn, blue fluid, shining scale, ultimate best match. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Do you know as tough as the story needs them to be? <laughs> Okay, let's see which quest is closest. That one is 500 meters away. That one's 800 and something, and this one is right there. Okay. Okay, this one's closest, so I'll go over this one first. Go under the stony rainbow and look for three green crystals. Oh, the Tavia. Hmm? It's not the treasure, but she caught the scent of something. Hey, HH Gaming, welcome back. I've just been busy at the moment. That's okay. I guess it means like a stone arch or something, but I don't see anything like that around here. Oh, it's actually over here. Okay. Cool. Padded greaves for Darien. Are they any good? Well, they're better than what he has now. <laughs> Uh, there's the stony rainbow with three green crystals. Again, there's maybe not actually because that wasn't really stone, that was more like metal. Uh. <laughs> ah, it was here. <laughs> 
Okay, at break time. See you soon. So, you found something? Nothing here. The red path. The red path to the reliquary. I had no idea. No idea of what? Dina, that's just Meow. Yes. So frail. Machines were hard. But it was no machine. It was... Machines. We have to strike them real hard, you know? Real hard. Feed them a boil. What is he talking about? He was a soldier. Probably one of the first who fought the Archolites. A true veteran. Bleed them of oil is an old war cry they used back then. Ghetto. It's okay, buddy. We're here. Follow the red path, priestess. All red until the end. Until the last one. Okay. Follow the green path and find the bottom of the red. for this, don't we? So... It's weird, because he said follow the red path, but the objective says follow the green path. So which one is it? here anyway, so... I mean, I don't see where I could go red or green, honestly. Because either way, there's blues in the way. if you expect something up. No. That was just an old item. Oh, maybe I found it. So it's here? Let's start digging. Hey, what's this? Old pieces of armor. Are they worth anything? No. Perhaps when they were buried, they were worth something, but now it's just scrap. Seriously? Hmm. Batavia has picked up a scent on the armor. Let's follow it. Find the treasure hold with your Nekaru. Let's go, Batavia. Gaming says, what was your longest stream? Uh, I think I did like a three and a half hour. I've, I've done a few like three and a half hour ones. I don't know what the longest was. It was probably a Persona 5, the royal stream, <laughs> honestly. But yeah, 
I usually do two hours nowadays, but like back in the days I used to do three hours and like sometimes I would run over. Jack, you've done at least four hours before. I have. I've, <laughs> I don't remember that, but okay. Um, yes, okay. Like me on my own or, or me and Hannah? Dina says, when was that? I'm wondering that myself, honestly. Yes, you. Okay. Do you remember what I was playing at the time? <laughs> HH Gaming says I rarely got up to two hours. Yeah, nowadays two hours is basically what I aim for. Two hours minimum. Sometimes I do more, but like... Jack, I don't recall specifically, but I remember there was a day that you had gone for four hours and Hannah and I were worried about you and trying to convince you to stop. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like me. Uh, sorry. Sorry for worrying you. Yeah, but now, now I try to not go too far over two hours. Unless there's like, I'm, I'm in the middle of something that I can't stop. Um, or like I'm miles away from a safe point or something. Uh, but yeah. Apparently four hours is my longest stream. Um, I don't think it's archived though. Here. Yeah. What was your longest gaming session? Um, how do you define a gaming session? Because um, I, I play games casually on my own pretty much all the time. So... Um, you mean like longest without, without a break? Like in one sitting. I mean, uh, probably like eight hours or something. Because <laughs> I've I've had um quite a few times in my life where I basically stayed up all night playing games. Um, so yeah, something like eight or nine hours, which I don't recommend. But yeah. Jack, like I remember because we kept saying just go back and save and oh well I go until I find a save point and we were trying to say then backtrack and save. Yeah, that also sounds like me again. I'm really sorry for that. Um, I'm trying to be better about that for now. Uh, it was save, save points. I'm trying to think what game I would have... Couldn't have been Persona 5 because then it would I wouldn't have been able to backtrack because it would have been cutscenes. Um, was it Hollow Knight? No, oh, Hollow Knight has loads of save points around and it's open. It's non-linear anyway, so. Um, honestly, trying to remember, but I don't I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I'll try Jack. I'm trying to think, but I'll let you know if I think of it. Okay, still I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that, though. Um, I try not to do that anymore. Um, I know I, I can get very stubborn. I can get very fixated on like what I want to do, especially when I play games. But I'm trying. I'm really trying to not not do that anymore because it's bad for me and it's bad for other people as well. Um, yeah, HH. So I went over eight hours once. <laughs> Crash streams probably would last long. You think, wouldn't you? But uh, I tend to get bored of Crash after like an hour or so, so <laughs> they're not usually that long. Uh, I get bored of trying and failing the same level over and over again. Uh, also, Crash save points like between levels, so I wouldn't have been able to backtrack and save there either. Anyway, we'll, we'll think of it, maybe. Same to be honest, but if you're speedrunning, it is very long. Yeah, thankfully I don't speedrun. It's down below, let's dig. What's this? Crystals, a few Arcalite machines. Well, this isn't worth much, but it's something anyway. Not a real treasure, though. What? Only a few crystals and machines? There's got to be something else in there. Hey. Or maybe it was near autumn. No, it couldn't. 
wasn't near automata was it that i did before hours i don't think it would have been because unless i was really Jack, you did play a long time on that one but i don't know uh, maybe it was i don't know honestly but it's these are bones frail not like machines i didn't want to it just snapped i thought i thought i didn't think he'd break soldiers don't break we were told we didn't break jack i remember crash did have one so you wouldn't stop because now i'm so close and we had to kind of intervene uh, yeah again i'm sorry honestly <laughs> it's embarrassing knowing about this now oh God. i i really hope i'm i'm better about that now than i used to be like i sincerely hope i'm not as stubborn as i or like not even stubborn but like just getting fixated on um on what i want to do crash does that to me says hh gaming yeah like, like okay so the thing you have to know about me is like um i and yeah jack says i'm not saying this to blame you i'm trying to think of what what it was thank you i and that and i didn't think you were trying to blame me i was just um like being embarrassed in myself honestly um but one thing that you have to know about me is i when i am trying to do something like when i'm trying to achieve a goal or a task or something i sometimes get very fixated on it to the point where i basically become sometime okay look like i said i'm i'm trying to get better about that and i hope i am better like i hope i don't do that every all the time anymore um but yeah uh i don't like it uh but like i, I get in the zone and then i was just like okay um jack relax and te just teasing you don't do it all the time anymore honestly that's good um I'm sorry i still do it sometimes though but i'm i'm working on it but yeah i, I get into a state where i just become like empty like i i wouldn't say it's like frust frustrated or um i wouldn't even say it's like determined really it's just basically nothing i'm just like task there have to finish um and then just it's nothing else and i like i said i've been up like playing for eight or nine hours straight trying to do something before jack it's like the rest of the world kind of doesn't exist it is just me honestly yeah it's kind of like an the you know, last year's halloween comic that i made about being hypnotized by games yeah it was and i i was in it um but no, it's not. It's not really like a trance. Like I, I don't lose awareness of things around me. It's more just like um, that. I don't feel anything, if that makes sense. Um, which it probably doesn't. But I don't even know how to explain it really. Um, Zoe says that was a good one, Jack. Oh, absolutely was. It was. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I, HH, it's not healthy, but don't beat yourself up a lot, but you can try set time goals, or today I'm going to beat this thing. Yeah, that's the problem, because the, <laughs> then I say, like, okay, I want to beat this level today, or something. I did that in my crash streams, actually, um, while they, back when they were still, like, the main, that was still the main game that I was playing. Um, I thought, like, okay, I'm going to stream until I beat this level. And then the stream would go on for like three and a half hours and I was still nowhere close to beating the levels. So I was like, okay, no, that's, this isn't working. Um, so yeah, uh, I tried to do like that 
whole one level per day thing and sometimes i manage it but other times i, I have to think like okay i really this is taking way too long and i am nowhere near beating this level so i'm gonna i'm gonna give up for today and try again tomorrow uh anyways sorry <laughs> i'm gonna finish this scene at least you did this ghetto you killed AJ says that's fine too. Yeah. I didn't want to. He struck me fast. I didn't want to. He pulled the sword. I had no choice. I only wanted to. Gods, forgive me. Priestess, forgive me. Please forgive me. You know, it's probably a deserter. That kind of story isn't new, actually. The old soldiers used to tell me at the campfire that those kind of things happened often back in the days. When the war started, the consort outfitted many soldiers with top quality crystals. At the time, everyone thought they were worth a lot of money. Some of them thought they could defect, sell the crystals and live a grand life, forgotten by everyone. But they didn't know the Sanctorium had already ordered the extraction of countless crystals. The price of military-grade crystals plummeted rapidly. By the time Ghetto realized he couldn't fetch a good price for it, he understood that... He and his partner had fought over a mere pittance. His guilt caught up with him and he probably snapped. Damn it, Ghetto. What am I going to do with him? And what about you? I'll take the machinery and sell it. Tia Kylum is not too far from here. I'm sure it will, I'll find a few people interested in these. Take the crystals if you want. I don't care for those. What about Ghetto? I'll take him with me. Tia Kylum always needs manpower. I'll be able to get him a job. It won't be much, but at least he won't be sleeping in the gutter. Best I can do right now. <laughs> Anchor. Maiden skirt. Armor for Celine. And Verne, even though she's no longer with us, does that mean she's coming back? Or did they just forget to change that? Does, does that. Right, next quest. Let's see. We can do one more quest today, I think. Seven six three and this one is I see okay. We'll do the Petrus one. I hope Batavia away. So I'm just like mentally going through all the games that I've played so far. Um, could it have been Spyro, maybe? The one that I played for four hours. Because <laughs> I, I can definitely see myself being like, no, there's a save point just up here. I can I can make it through there and then I can save. Jack, oh, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember it. I'm just guessing based on what I know about me, but I have a feeling that it might have been Spyro. Dina says a lot of games. Yeah, I have played. I have played a lot of games. Yeah. Um, Spyro makes sense to be playing for long hours. <laughs> oh yeah. That was the first game I ever streamed. Won't enjoy this, nor will you. Very first game I ever streamed was the Spyro Reignited trilogy. Dina, did you have any particular faves of the games you've played? Well, I played one of my absolute favourite games, Persona Five: The Royal. Um, uh, but if you mean like which was my favourite to stream, um. Hmm. 
trying to think, honestly. Hmm. A near automata was fun to stream. Um, and they kind of had a lot of fun sessions there, which is weird because like I th there were some like grinding because I thought that was going to be boring and then it actually ended up being really fun so uh, either is fine well yeah again Nier Automata is one of my favourite games Persona 5 The Royal is one of my favourite I streamed both of those um, I haven't done the rest of the Royal stuff yet in that though the exclusive stuff uh, Sonic Forces was also really really nice to play I did that in all, all in one sitting I just did the story so um went by quickly with the one shot. Uh ooh, um Deponia. Um they changed by way for perfect relic. You don't need one person you can let TNT or Nitro destroy most of the boxes. That's good to know. Um Yeah, um Deponia, the Deponia games, those were super fun to play, and Edna and Harvey as well. Like, I love, I absolutely love, 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 love point and click games. Um, like the classic point and click games, and those are like just super good, honestly. Um, uh, so, yeah, there those, and also Day of the Tentacle I played in one sitting, and Full Throttle I also played. Um, and soon ish with a very very loose definition of soon i will be playing the monkey island games yes all of them i don't exactly know how i'm going to stream all of them so far i might have to get them on steam or something and do it on pc but um yeah i'm going to be playing all the monkey island games finishing with return to monkey island which kind of came out recently yay Dina, ooh, Monkey Island. Did you play Insane Trilogy? I did. <laughs> yeah, I did already. Um, <laughs> I've done that one. Played Insane Trilogy and played Crash 4 all the way through the story. I'm just doing optional stuff now. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, what, what am I doing? Yeah. Uh, Skitan. Let's see, are you on ice? No, you're not. Are you weak to fire? Maybe. Oh, resistant. What's that? Water. Good to know. What's my thing? Don't use the same. Don't use the same skill twice. Yeah. So we have to run. Have a great stream. Oh well, gonna probably finish after this battle. But thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. They explode in real time. <laughs> That's it's kind of annoying when your game is turn based. I think can't do anything because I can't. I already use my one attack with her. Alright. You want to turn your back on me? I'll teach you not to. the wrong place.
So he ended up killing this giant monster for the old man anyway. And on top of that, he didn't even bother showing up. Waste of time. We should... Ha 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 ha! You're calling that a giant monster? Where's that voice coming from? Let me show you a real giant monster. Get your butts over here. Dina Petrus is so lucky he's in the video game. Yeah. Speech, sir. That's what the bleeding wind is about. You really defeated it alone? In the blink of an eye. It only took one perfect clean cut. Swish, swish, whop, and then boom, it was dead. Jax's cap. <laughs> yes. I'm sure the beast would have thanked me for such an honourable, painless death, but it didn't have time to see death coming. Such is the way of the bleeding wind. You didn't kill it. There's no blood around. Judging from the smell, it's been three days since it died. Probably of old age or something. What? Really? I... Hmm. <laughs> Jack, also, how is that bigger than the we got? It's not that much bigger if it is at all. It isn't, really. Excellent. Very observant, boy. It has died from extremely accelerated aging. And that is precisely the reason why they call it the wind of ever decaying death. Oh, God. He's Mr. Satan. <laughs> I thought it was the way of the bleeding wind. Never mind what you thought it was. It proves that you are still ignorant of the ways of the lonely sword. Jack, oh well, he's Hercules. Oh. <laughs> ah, we're in resolution, Jack. And now you're just throwing random words around. You are ready for your first lesson, my pupil. You don't even know my name. Of course I know your name, Jinjo. It's Darian. <clears throat> Why am I still talking to him? Well, find the scrapyard. It's not too far from here. There you will have a most enlightening experience. Out of the question. You should listen to your master, Darian. Yeah, well, we'll do that next time. Find out what Petrus wants from you. Come on, Matavia, let's go find a safe point. I have no idea where, because they're not marked on the map, so I just have to run until one shows up on my compass. Don't worry, though, it won't take four hours. I hope. Just four hours later. Dina Petrus is just full of it. Yeah, ooh, that looks dangerous. Don't want to. Ah, there's one. Oh, shh. Speed break. And there it is. Okay. Save. The game does auto-save, like, very regularly, but I still save manually, just to be sure. And... Okay, um, HH Gaming, I get, and Dina too, actually, because I don't think you've seen this. I get to introduce you to a nice little um, tradition of my streams. 
So we close the game. This is something I just started doing like on my own and then I realized oh, I can make it an actual tradition that we do. Final stretch. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think I've seen it either. No, because you haven't been to my streams in a while. But yeah, I made it a little thing that I do a little stretch at the end of my streams. Because I, I, I stretch here. Because I sort of like just noticed that I just do that, um, like naturally, and then I thought, oh, why, why not just make it an actual thing? So I did. Um, HH that reminded me to stretch. I haven't in time. Yeah, make sure. Um, make sure you stretch every now and then. Make sure you like get up and walk around every now and then um just even if it's just getting up to go and get a drink or something which also remember to drink people remember to stay hydrated um like i know i i kind of am a do as i say not as i do person with this or also so i don't worry about what i'm doing with my hair it's just me fidgeting um i know i'm kind of like a do as i say not as i do person with that i i do try to remember sometimes but like even just I drink two liters. So that's good. I mean, that's that's good. Honestly, I should drink more to be honest. Um, but yeah, remember to drink um, water or whatever drink of your choice. Just try to avoid too much caffeine or alcohol. Um, and like, remember to just get up and walk around every so often. Like, just doesn't have to be for super long. Just like. For a minute or so just like get yourself mobile so you're not always like sitting in the same place all the time because it's not good for you <laughs> um and yeah i need to i had so many tangles in my hair sorry um anyways i'm gonna go uh so thank you for watching uh i, I don't know if i'll do I just came in we were working tomorrow, so that's going to be a busy day. Oh, working on Saturday. Well, that sucks. I uh, hope it goes well, though. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this is going to be... I'm kind of experimenting with doing my streams a bit earlier. So I don't know if I'm going to keep with this time or go back to my normal time tomorrow. But we'll see how it goes. Um, as I feel like... Uh, I don't get many viewers because i stream so late at night um so i'm wondering if like maybe if i do a bit earlier it might encourage more people to come join me because i like having people to talk to and interact with during my streams it's fun um and not that i don't appreciate the ones that are already here of course like jack and zoe's not here but i do appreciate her and dina as well thank you for coming out and um sometimes cynthia too if, um, but she's not here today. Uh, yeah. Anyways, see you tomorrow, Daybreakers. Take care. Love, peace.